Hi everyone, I've got a so so toys green goblin. No, green men menace, not goblin. What? How's it hanging YouTube? Peter here, Ginger Jody Geek. Welcome back to another toy unboxing. So this time we've got a green menace from so so toys, one sixth scale action figure. So you might be saying, why is it called Green Menace when it's quite clearly the Green Goblin? Well, that's because this is an unlicensed figure. And what that means is they've not actually got the license to use the character from Marvel. So it's a little bit naughty, really. But there isn't a comic accurate Green Goblin on the market, so I had to pick this one up. So first impressions of the box is it looks really smart. The artwork's really nice. This is obviously an art image of the Green Goblin. Sorry, Green Menace. <laughs> not the actual Green Goblin figure. Um, but it looks nice. I like the colours. It's got your typical goblin grin there, which really stands out. This thing's quite a big box, so it's strolling in the light box a little bit, but never mind. We've got the Green Menace and So So Toys at the bottom there. On the back, you've got your usual blurb there, all the notices and things like that. I'm not particularly interested in that cack. And then on the side, again, just Green Menace and the nice green writing. Right, let's open it up and have a look. Uh, see what he looks like inside so when you open them up you get this really nice image of the goblin and um, looking really cool that's a nice art image I like that this just kind of folds out oh, and there you have him with his glider and his comic accurate well I mean that's more of the kind of the the, uh, the cartoon series goblin outfit to me just looking absolutely amazing and um, your standard kind of clamshell plastic and there's a tray behind him there with all these different hands and accessories and things like that. Worth saying I picked this up second hand from a tremendous guy on one of the Facebook um, Hot Toy groups. Um, so it, it is second hand, so there may be some slight damage. He did tell us that some of the wrist pegs were slightly loose. Cannot wait. Let's just crack on. Let's get him out into the uh, light box and have a look at all of the accessories that come with him. Okay, guys, so that's all the bits and bobs that you get with him. First things first, I am extremely impressed. The quality on this is tremendous. So you get a dynamic flight pole, and pretty standard really, but excellent for that. You get a really nice looking base. I love the color scheme, the purples, it's kind of like a graded metal look. Um, and you've got your goblin image, obviously on the front there. Again, looking very, very smart. I like that a lot. You get, obviously your standard clamp, for your, um, your goblin an additional little stand which is a kind of a kickstand for the go for the glider which i'll show you later on you get an array of pumpkin bombs so three of these bad boys and um, they look absolutely tremendous i love the artwork on them i love the painting on them and um, the little stub on the top there they look superb i'm really really impressed with them they look really nice happy with that you get a whole host of different hands as you would expect again the paint application on these is lovely they look like leather gloves there's nice marking on them um, they just look really cool so a variety of hands closed fists ones that are obviously designed so you can be holding um holding the pumpkin bomb as it were you then get this look at that so this is your goblin glider done in kind of a silver rusted metal freak sheen it looks really really nice it's hard plastic although the front part this bit is um wobbly plastic a bit softer uh, it looks really nice it looks like the glider and with that you get some blast effects so you get these which peg in to create kind of smoke effect blast off effect from the got from the glider and you get this which is kind of the jet from the glider which just pegs in to the back there so it looks like it's flying in motion um as much as i like these i'm not sure i'll be using them i want my goblin glider to be kind of flying rather than taken off if that makes sense okay let's have a look at the goblin himself so here we have him guys the green goblin he looks absolutely incredible um the face sculpt is stunning the costume's amazing i absolutely love him i know i'm gushing um, I just, oh, he's mint. Right, let's have a closer look. Okay, guys, so here we have him. First off, let's just appreciate that head sculpt. The eyes are absolutely stunning. The mouth is amazing. It just looks superb. The hat, the, yeah, everything about him, I love. 
absolutely love it. I love the expression he's got on. Everything. He looks amazing. Really impressed considering this is a kind of a third party figure at how detailed and how, how good this actually looks. I mean, he looks... He looks really cool. Really, really cool. Even down to gloss sheen on his lips. Okay, the costume itself is a mix of fabrics and paint, obviously. Um, this is kind of a purple woolly jumper, which I love. You've got a pleather leather um, belt here. The costume's really tight on them, so the green, it's like a, I don't know, it's like stuck to them in some way. Um, the boots and the gloves have got this purple um, leather effect. It looks like real leather. They are movable. Um, yeah, it just looks tremendous. And that's exactly the same with the gloves. His belt is, like I say, this pleather kind of effect. You've got your, your satchel here, which you can open. Now inside it is some foam just to kind of allow it to maintain its shape. But if you wanted, you could take that foam out and put the pumpkin bombs in. Um, in terms of articulation, he's got good levels of head movement. Um, the arms and things feel really movable. There is some issues with his feet. The guy who I bought her off did say that they are quite loose, but I can try and repair them if need be. Um, I mean, they, they, they seem to pop on and off okay to me. So there we are, guys. He looks amazing. I'm very, very impressed with him. Um, I don't know. I mean, for a third party figure, for me, this is, um, this is pretty special. Yeah, I like him a lot. Okay, guys, let's get him on the glider and see what he looks like. There we go, guys. Look at that. Um, putting them together, I can see what the guy who sold it to us meant by the, the ankle joints being a bit loose. I think when he's putting a lot of pressure on to try and fly on that glider, it makes him a bit wobbly. So I'm going to have to have a bit play around and, and try and get him into the pose I want. But if we can just look at him there, he looks absolutely amazing. Um, I absolutely love him. For a third party figure, this is tremendous, absolutely tremendous. The glider's superb, the figure's superb, the costume's superb, the face sculpt is just absolutely brilliant. Um, I am over the moon with this figure, as you can probably tell, because I'm gushing. Um, okay, if you get the opportunity to pick one of these up, I would really recommend it. If you particularly enjoy the kind of the classic cartoon comic version of characters rather than perhaps movie accurate, I would definitely get one of these. It is a stunning figure um, and I can't wait to get it on display. Okay gang, thanks very much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you next time.